So you've got yourself your 7.3 liter Godzilla crate already, or maybe you're looking at ordering one right now. Uh, and you're asking yourself, and probably us as well, how are you supposed to control this? Uh, well, thankfully, Ford Performance has finally released a control pack for this crate motor. Uh, it runs on the, uh, it actually is set up to run a 10R140 transmission as well. So we're gonna go into the conference room to take a look at the control pack along with everything else that's included with the components. Okay, so in front of me is a 7.3 liter uh, Godzilla control pack. Uh, you know, we were just checking out the engine in the showroom. This comes with pretty much everything that you need to be able to pull off your swap in your car or truck. Uh, this whole setup is really, really a nice, nice little piece of kit. Uh, not so little here is this uh, colder intake setup. It's pretty nice. It's got the filter inside as well, uh, it's sealed across the top for the hood as well as fancy schmancy ram air. Uh, so. The other important part to note that we uh, spotted in this is this has a map sensor, but there's also another supplied map sensor. This one is for the Ford Mustang. This is for the truck. Uh, so I'm gonna get this one out of the way. It's kind of big, but uh, something to at least note while we've got that is that uh, this doesn't really, isn't really mentioned as far as what you need this for or what you need to do with it in the instructions, but in all likelihood, it's because of the fact that if you decide to move from this intake to a different intake, you might need to use this in that tube. So moving along from that, we have, uh, of course, your uh, PCV tube. We don't really need that at the moment, but the fun part is this comes supplied with a GT350 throttle body, plus an adapter plate. Uh, this O-ring gasket is in another bag elsewhere. It's really nice because of the fact that with this comes with a drive-by-wire throttle uh, pedal. So this whole assembly is something that's really important that you need to uh, at least be mindful of, especially when you're doing a swap on this or any other vehicle that uses a drive-by-wire throttle body, is you don't want to mix and match a throttle body with a pedal that you know, are not initially compatible. Uh, you might think that, oh, hey, this is from the same year model, but different vehicle. That one should work. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. We've seen it happen before, especially you guys that have done drive-by-wire throttle body uh, or drive-by-wire swaps in other vehicles uh, that it's like you go to put a throttle body in from one vehicle, you've got a pedal from another one just because it seems like that one will work. And then you go to fire it up and you're not picking up your pedal or you have intermittent throttle so it's like you can drive around or cruise and you go wide open throttle and then you get dead pedal and you go into limp mode sometimes we've seen it uh you know nice and easy driving around cruising on the street or unfortunately sometimes at the track uh, and it'll leave you uh pretty much just in limp mode the entire time until you can get things figured out so with that being said this crinkles a little bit, so I'm going to try and handle this as little as possible. But that's the full engine control harness. Uh, this is really a nice piece of kit. It's fully terminated. It's shrink wrapped and everything. It has uh, some fuses as well. So, you know, you guys that have done swaps before will know a good harness is worth its weight in gold. And the fact that Ford Performance has already done, you know, all the handiwork and the, the hard work, especially for guys that have had to take an existing harness, you know, especially like an older harness. It's like, oh, I've got this. It's got gunk all over it, you know, especially if you got one that had an engine oil leaks or anything like that, uh, especially if you're lucky enough to get a complete harness. Uh, usually these things have been cut already uh, at the salvage yards because they just pull everything out in one being able to get a harness all together is really uh, a huge time saver, especially for you guys that are either doing it on your own at home uh, or even in a shop when you're trying to be mindful of labor hours for a customer. Uh, this is really nice and helpful and it cuts down on any troubleshooting that you might need to do. So that's nice. Also, you have another crinkly bag. But this one here is the uh, transmission control harness for the 10R140. Like I 
kind of forgot to mention this before, but this is for the 10R140. Uh, it's compatible with that transmission. So the calibration is set up for that. So you have the harness here, as well as the Ford Performance uh, PCM, which, which has got its calibration. And so this one is gonna be good as far as that is concerned. Um, now, of course, you're like, hey, Dane, uh, I wanna make some changes. And the tune on here is good, but it could be gooder. So <laughs> we've got HP tuners. HP Tuners has actually got support for the Godzilla crate motor, which is great news for all of us that like to just kind of take something that's good and, and make some improvements to it ourselves. Uh, or sometimes ruin things like I tend to do. So <laughs> this is a, uh, a really nice option, especially if you guys decide that you're going to do a different intake manifold or maybe add a supercharger or turbochargers or anything along those lines. Uh, there are a wide variety of options, including aftermarket performance camshafts uh, already because people have been messing with these for a few years now, um, even before there is any an initial uh, support so with that being said, especially for superchargers, uh, we are a dealer for Whipple, which they also offer a kit for this whole setup, which is really nice, uh, especially because of the fact that some of y'all might think, hey, 430 horse is great for my grocery getter, but I'm wanting to get a little bit more power out of it. Uh, we can get you taken care of and get you moving on down the line. So this is great. We've got HP tuners on board with it. Uh, I also forgot to mention that there's some more crinkly bags over here. There's that O-ring and everything that I had mentioned for the throttle body, a few brackets, um, plus your O2 sensors. <clears throat> also, uh, you might be asking, Dane, that's cool that it's an automatic and everything, but I want to run a manual transmission. There is not really any documentation as far as I've been able to find uh, of anybody running a manual transmission behind the Godzilla, but there is, of course, y'all have probably seen the pictures of the uh, Ford Mustang with the Godzilla in it, plus a different intake manifold and a manual transmission. So it looks like Ford Performance is messing around with that because they know that some of y'all just like to row your own instead of trying to jam a 10R140 10R into you know, whatever vehicle that y'all have got. So it looks like support is coming for that. It's not here just quite yet as far as we can tell. And I haven't had a chance to look at the calibrations for the uh, Godzilla to see if you can change from an automatic and, and switch it off to where it's just set up for a manual. So, with that being said, if you guys have got any questions about your Godzilla, if you want to do anything along those lines, uh, feel free to give us a call. We also have a serpentine drive kit uh, for that from Ford Performance. We don't have it in stock right now, or else it would probably be here as well. Uh, but you know, we do have those on order. So if you're interested in having that for your crate motor, uh, for your swap, uh, just let us know and we also have it on the website so anything else along those lines if you've got some questions with what else will work really good with this uh, you know we can do what we can to help you out so thanks again for stopping by and checking out another one of our product videos that we've got and uh, if you uh, have any other questions feel free to ask in the comments below give us a call shoot us an email and we'll get you taken care of and we'll see you next time